to my channel if you're new here welcome i'm hannah and today's video as you can see from the title is something i'm really excited for as all of my videos because why wouldn't i be excited it's hannah so today's video is me testing out milk makeup milk makeup have just launched in the u well they're going to be launching are uh, launching in the uk on cult beauty on the 28th of january this month um well of course it's this month is january Milk Makeup will be launching on Cult Beauty, so you'll be able to get hold of Milk Makeup. So I was fortunate enough to attend a Milk Makeup event. The first product I want to try is uh, the Milk Makeup. This is really weighty. Like, tell me if you've got this, that this is not weighty. Is the Milk Makeup Cush Mascara. So now this is 10 milliliters of product or um, 0 0.34 fluid ounces. Uh, it doesn't really say what it does but i know some information on it that i actually can't remember from what the woman was saying bless myself um but yeah apparently i've known loads of people that have raved over this mascara so i thought i'm glad i picked it up well glad they gave it to me this is really weighty like i've never found such a heavy mascara um i know milk makeup i'm gonna put it out there milk makeup can be a bit pricey but i think it's good quality makeup so i'm hopefully gonna test it out for you guys and show you whether it's worth the price um I don't think Cult Beauty really do discount codes unless it's your birthday or something like that. So I do, sometimes they do like 15% off if you spend £20 or 20% if you spend £100 or something like that. Which I'm not really too happy with. I think they could do a lot better and improve. What I am going to do is I'm going to test the mascara out. I'm going to put it on. I don't know, I'm guessing this is supposed to do everything. Volumise, length and all of that jazz. But I don't really have like lashes so i really i always i always put lashes on on top so i'm going to do that as well but i just want to see what it is what it's like before i apply it my lashes what the applicator looks like on the like wand it's quite big like for a proportion of like my eye this is huge now i don't really like mascaras like this not because i don't like the brand or anything like that because i have extremely small eyes as you can see like even my finger is bigger than my eye. my eyes are really tiny getting a grip on my lashes is really really difficult i don't know if you can tell the difference but in person, I can definitely tell a difference. This is a quite nice mascara. The one reminds me a bit of the Revolution mascara. This mascara does remind me of the Revolution mascara. I'm just going to be completely honest. Um, but yeah, I think it's not too bad. It's definitely like... Volumising my lashes. Like I can definitely tell I've got mascara on. But it's not like booyah in your face sort of thing. But the only thing I'm not noticing is not really lifting my lashes in a sense like... I don't know if you can tell, it's not really lifting them. They're just sort of just going in the usual shape that they are. But I do think I look a little bit better with mascara on. This hasn't done, like, wow to my lashes. But it's pretty good, I think. But I don't know how much it would be in price. I think if you've got really voluminous lashes and they're long, this is going to look beautiful. But if you've got really, really small lashes like me, you're probably going to want to stick to an everyday, like, drugstore mascara because it's not going to do what you want it to do. And if you wear lashes, I'm not really fussed on buying any expensive mascara anyway. So I'm glad I got this as a gift. But, um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's just not... Wow. Now on to brow gel. I don't know if you can see this. This is the, this is like, honestly, their packaging is like very weighty, which I like because it's actually, it feels really good quality. Now here's the Milk Kush Clear Brow. Now I know their collection of their like eyes is called the Kush Collection. I do apologize this now. But yeah, this is the Clear Brow Gel. I normally like clear brow gels. This is in the shade Hydro, um, Hydro. Um, originally I was going to get, I think it's called Grind, sorry dog, my, you can hear my dog, originally I was going to get the colour Grind, but um, they said there and then that they ran out of the shade, which was fine, um, I don't really like coloured brow gels anyway, I tend to like really um, clear brow gel. This is what the one looks like, it's really small compared to any other brow gel I've used, so it could probably hook onto hairs a little bit better, but we shall see. I'm just going to grab this and go into my brows see what it does because i haven't got other than brow pencil i haven't got anything else on my brows so yeah okay straight away 
I've noticed I'm going to like this. Like, I'm liking this already. Like, just, you know, when you just know straight away. Reason being is because I know it's going to hold. Like, I just, I have that feeling from how sticky it is. Not sticky, but how firming it is. And it's put my hairs in place already. I know. And plus, it's clear. I felt that it's literally tugged on every single hair. Like, every single hair has got a bit of gel on, which I'm happy with. So, like, because it's so small, you can really get in to each individual hair. I don't know if you can see. I can feel already on this one it's dried down and it's like it's dried down well sort of thing so yeah that the brow gel is a yes from me on to what everyone's waiting for is the actual face makeup though i do have foundation concealer powder and four base sticks which everyone is like hyping over i mean so the, we do have here the milk makeup blur stick now this literally just has blur stick on it, it doesn't have what it does well, it does blur stick, but it doesn't have any of the ingredients on or anything like that, which again, I always like to say to brands, put ingredients on the packaging, even if it's at the back, you've got loads of space, just in case. But yeah, so um, I don't know how much this retails for. I think it's about 30 pounds. Like this can be a little bit expensive. But yeah, I think if it's gonna be, I know everyone hypes about this, like this is the one where everyone's like, wow, blur stick, love it. So I'm hoping to love this. I'm not really the type to be into primers. I apply this to my areas. Um, I'm hoping this is good. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to apply this to the areas that I need it. And my nose. I quite like this. I don't know if I'm noticing that it's blurring my pores as such. Maybe it is. I think maybe what we want to do is put the foundation on and see if it does. So here we have the Milk Makeup um, Foundation. Um, I am, was shade match to the name Honey. I don't know how many shades I have, but when I was there yesterday, they did have a ton of shades and a ton of concealer shades, so I'm happy with that. I'm in the shade Honey. I think I was shade match to the shade Honey, but we shall see if it matches me. If it doesn't, I'm not really too fussed, to be completely honest. Um, but yeah, so this is what the packaging looks like. I love Milk Makeup's packaging. I think this retails for about £34 or £30 or something like that, but I have heard it's good. I don't know if it's full coverage. I don't know anything like that. It is matte. It does say on the back a matte foundation, which is okay. I'm hoping it's not like fully matte um, because where we've blurred, I hope blurring stick as well doesn't really have a matte feel to it because it doesn't. It's more of a bit of a, like a plumping feel. So yeah, I'm just going to pop this onto my skin. Oh. Okay, so it could be it could be a pretty good match, I think. I don't know how much I'm meant to put on, but I feel like do you know what I mean? Like there's not much product in here, even though it says 30 milliliters. Like 30 milliliters of product doesn't look like a lot, which I'm not really pleased about because I don't think I've put a lot on. It's not a bad match. It matches my neck very well. It's not really a face match, but it's definitely a neck match. Okay, so so far what I'm noticing, this is really easy to blend out. It's not, I can definitely tell this is a like a, a high, like a high end foundation because I'm actually really liking it. Um, it's definitely full coverage, definitely full coverage. I don't, I think you haven't put too much on. I don't think you need that much on. I'm going to go quickly go in with a sponge um, just to make sure I like, it's all blended in seamlessly, but I'm actually really liking it. I think it looks beautiful on the skin so far. The blur stick has worked, like my pores. Uh, non-existent it's still the foundation weirdly has a slight obviously it's still wet on the skin but it has a slight illuminating factor to it i think i don't think it's fully matte we'll see what it looks like at the end and when i've worn it for a few hours but it's not got too much of a, a matte feel to it which i like um i think the blurring stick has helped with that because i think if i didn't i think it would be a little bit like just do the ears um a little bit drier not drier but a little bit more matter i think being really really nice if i show you it looks really really nice i personally think it's not obviously finished it's not sunk into the skin as of yet there's no streakiness it's sitting really nicely on the skin it has still illuminating factor to it do you see it it's not like completely um matte i personally think it's clung to my nose really really nicely because sometimes foundations don't really attach to my nose but it has 
and I don't really see the whole pore element as as of much like I feel the blurring stick has done what it needed to do and made my face just look all as one like a flat canvas now on to concealer so in the concealer I'm in the shade medium um I was thinking it was going to be a bit light medium or something like that or light but actually when I was matched medium seemed like a pretty good shade once again, this is a flex concealer. Uh, doesn't have any information whether it's supposed to be full coverage. I'm guessing it's supposed to be full coverage because the foundation is. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna apply my usual amount. I think this is a good shade for me, I personally think. I don't like to go too bright, but brighter sort of thing. I'm going in now and blend this in. I'm really hoping this is full coverage. actually quite like it now it is my face is all looking very one color i do like that the concealer shade is actually um very much my shade i don't like to go too bright otherwise it just looks a bit weird but i am actually really liking this um it's blended in really really well it blended in really easily effortlessly blended I think this is a really, really nice base combo. Obviously, it's only first impressions. That's what I'm just going off of. I'm not saying, oh, yes, it's amazing, whatnot. But I think from first impressions, I am impressed. Um, I would say, I'll be completely honest, I think the concealer is actually a medium to full. I can slightly see my vein still. It's very much, I think, a heavy medium, like in the high medium range. I don't think it's like full full. It does crease slightly, but it's still illuminating. It's got more of an illuminating feel than um, a drying matte feel. It's not really a, a matte concealer, I personally think, but I like that, I prefer that. And now we have the powder. This is the Milk Makeup Powder, a Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. Loose, it has what it does here. Um, so this is in the shade Translucent Light. Um, I'm just gonna pop this on. I know it comes with 25 grams of product. It's not really full, it looks full, but it's actually not full. Apply this with a brush. I like it has this bouncing effect to it, which is really nice. I'm just gonna dust this underneath my eyes. And I feel I really like this little containment area here, like the little cover over, because I feel when you bounce it, it just gets the right amount of product. Like you don't want to over put like put too much product, which is no. I quite like this, like, um, the powder doesn't have a smell to it, it doesn't, do you know what this powder really reminds me of the Laura Mercier, the Laura Mercier is a little bit thicker, but it does have that, like, it does remind me of the Laura Mercier, which is nice, it's not, like, too matte, it has, like, really blurred my pores underneath, and it's added a, like, it's, it's really, made, it's really nice with the concealer, which I'm liking, so I'm all happy with that. Something that I'm really excited for now. I was so hoping I got this. Now, this is the Milk Makeup Baked Matte Bronzer. With one ounce of product, so 28 grams, which is pretty good. And in the blur stick, you get one gram is one ounce as well, so 28 grams, which is pretty good. You get quite a lot of product. Contour my cheeks. Mm, okay. I think it's more of a bronze, um, a contour shade than anything, more than bronzer. I will definitely need to add bronzer, but this is creamy. Like, this is creamy, people. And fan of that. I do like that. I'm definitely going to be using it more. So what I am going to do is I'm going to quickly bronze because I know I just need to add a little bit more life to me. But I do like that. Now, this is something I'm a bit like, whoo scared about so this is the another milk makeup um lip and cheek stick now i'm not going to reuse this on my lips i'm going to use this on my cheeks but once again this looks cute once again this has one gram one ounce one fluid ounce of or one ounce one ounce of product oh my god do you know what? i'm going to add this to my finger Okay, I would apply it with your finger because I feel if you put it over on your skin, it's going to remove some of the bronzer and foundation if it's not set. So, it's like that. It's not like overbearing. It's a little bit, it does look, I'm not really a blush person. So when I put blush on, I'm like, whoa, what have I done to my face? But yeah, this is like really creamy and oily, but I do like it. I think it's, it's quite nice. I'm not really a blush person. I actually think I'd prefer this on the lips. I'm not going to try it on the lips, but I do think I would prefer it on the lips. So yeah, that is nice 
just not something I would generally go for. So I have set and I've come back. I will say I put mascara on my lower lash line. Mm. This has done my lower lash line wonders. Like this is a beautiful mascara. Like I feel it's really um brought out my lower lash like um, my lower lashes. I personally feel I think it looks really really nice. Honestly, I do. I think this is a really really nice mascara. It's easy to apply. It's not messy. So yeah, I'm actually really, really happy with that. So we have here the Lit Highlighter. So this is another, again, one ounce of product. Looks like this, which is really, really gorgeous. Really, really like this. I'm gonna take my Morphe M441 brush. I'm gonna spritz it. And I'm just gonna gently go in with this as my highlighter and just dust this onto the top. See what it picks up. Just like this. Does it pick up anything? I think so. Don't know. And then I'm just going to apply it to my cheeks. I think this is a very subtle highlight. Like, I don't know if it's just me. It's very subtle. Which is cute. If you want to just go out one day and have a really subtle glow. I might just actually leave like this today because I quite like it. Um, just a bit on my nose. Separate the foundation a tad. So don't apply this from just the direct stick because it's just not gonna do you wonders at all. It's cute, it's cute, it's definitely cute. Definitely cute, just not illuminating. It's not really a highlighter, I personally feel. I think it's just a little bit to not me. Face doesn't look matte. It looks a tad, it does look a bit shiny, doesn't it? I, will, I won't lie, it does look a tad bit shiny, but it's okay, sort of. Like, I am sweating a little bit, but it's not really coming through too much because I am doing, like, I'm filming with loads of lights. So I'm gonna quickly do my lips off of camera and come back to you guys and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm back, I've done my lips. On my lips, I have the Gerard Cosmetics Sugar and Spice Lip Liner topped with the Huda Beauty Demi Matte in Day Slayer. It's like my go-to. I'm really loving this lip right now. What do you guys think? So my overall thoughts is what do you guys think? I think my face looks really, really flawless. I think if I was gonna go to an event or a night out or an evening meal, this would look gorgeous. I honestly think this would look really, really nice. I think it's very me. Um, I think the definitely the foundation, the concealing, the powder are like a brilliant base. I personally feel obviously it's first impressions. I feel the sticks are not really my thing. I think the bronze and stick is really, really nice. Obviously, I feel it has to be topped with a bronzer, which generally people do anyway. Um, I feel like the highlighting and the lips and the cheek sticks are not really my thing because I don't really pile on sticks because it just looks too oily. Do you see what I mean? Like my face looks really shiny. But at the same time, it really gives like a nice healthy glow. So it's up to you. I do think the sticks are a little bit pricey, but I do think they're good quality. I really, really like the mascara. Like the mascara for my lower lash lines is giving me everything, like everything. I'm loving it. The brow gel is really, really nice. I'm, I'm overall, I'm really impressed. I think I'm going to try out the foundation more on my Instagram and things like that. So you can always keep up with me there. If you have any questions, like I said, I always say to you to DM me on Instagram because I'm always very popular on there. I'm always very on there sort of thing, active. But yeah, um, I've forgotten to do my inner corner. How have I forgotten to do my inner corner? I think that's everything. I don't really have any more to say. I think the foundation, the concealer, and the powder have held up really, really nicely. I'm feeling it. Like, milk, I'm feeling you. I think you definitely, if you used to grab anything, like I've always say with products, get a foundation, get the concealer, and get the powder. I think it's very, very worth the money, whether it's expensive or not. Definitely worth the price. Definitely feels nice. And I also can say that the foundation and concealer hasn't sunk into my X mama lines, which is very hard to come by. Every foundation, every concealer that I put around this area, it still shows up a little bit. I have eczema around the corners of my mouth. Now this foundation and concealer does not cling to it and I'm so happy about it. This can't be matte, like it doesn't feel matte. It feels really illuminating, it feels healthy glow. Like the highlighter does add a really nice healthy glow um, element to it, like a really fresh, healthy, dewy base. Even the blur stick has really blurred my pore area. I don't know if you can see, but that is just an overall of what my skin looks like. Everything's looking good, no creasing, lips looking good. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, if you have any questions, like I always say, please in the description, in the description, I always get it wrong, in the comment section. I love all of you and I hope you guys 
and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!